Whew, it's hot as hell in New York today, so this is going to be a quickie. <laughs> so, um, so I, I'm watching. Uh, I, I wasn't watching CNN, but somehow this clip came to my attention, and it's uh, this is this is party politics at its at its best. Watch the watch the sharks. Watch how they operate. Right. This is Kristen Gillibrand. Right after Alejandro Acasio Cortez wins her 14 wins in congressional 14 in Queens, New York. Right now they're all now they're on damage control. Or was it a setup? I'm not. I'm still not sure. Did they put her up? Did they did they pick Acasio because she's young Latino? She has her pulse on. She has a finger on the pulse of the millennials, the young people. I see. You gotta give it I so fucking I so. Uh, or is she really whatever did, did she really win the election 14,000 uh, 14,000 to 10,000 I don't think so I think it was a rig but that, that's okay that's just my opinion that's my opinion so let's see what Kristen Gillibrand the sitting New York senator of New York the very honorable Kristen 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 Gillibrand is on CNN with none other than Chris Cuomo okay? playing a little softball on CNN. Who's Chris Cuomo? Chris Cuomo. Cuomo. Who's that? Cuomo. Cuomo. Oh, right. He's the ma He's the governor of New York's brother, Andrew Cuomo. It's, fucking, <laughs> it's all. It's a fucking game. It's a big. It's a big patty cake game. So let's see what Miss Kirsten Gillibrand. Let's see what. Firstly, we'll see what kind of questions Mr. Cuomo asks Miss Gillibrand. And uh, let's see how she uh, she handles that. She's in, she's talking about. I'm going to play the clip from CNN. She's talking about the victory of uh, Alejandra Asalia Acasio Cortez's uh, victory and how she beat Joe Crowley. So let's see. Let's listen to what she has to say. Wow. So Senator Gillibrand is banking on public sentiment. Let's talk about public sentiment in another forum, which is elections uh, in your home state. You just had a big development there in the congressional sure primary. Uh, a newcomer, 28-year-old Puerto Rican, uh, Ocasio, won against a 10-term congresswoman, uh, congressman, Joe Crowley. Uh, she had some words for you. She put out a tweet about it, if we have it for the audience. Uh, disappointing that Gillibrand didn't even bother to talk nor consider me before endorsing. You'd think a progressive leader would at least be interested in how a no corporate money Bronx Latina triggered the first New York 14 primary in 14 years on progressive issues. What do you make of her point? She ran an amazing race and the issues she ran on are fantastic issues. Um, and I supported Joe because he's my friend and because of his leadership, we passed the 9-11 health bill. And I supported Joe because he's my friend. Uh, so I was gonna support him regardless of how great she is. But it doesn't mean I can't be excited for her election and what she's actually gonna do. I think So there you go, right? She says, I supported Joe because she's my friend, he's my friend, and I was gonna support Joe regardless of how great she is. See that that's politics right there, right? Now here she is. She's oh, look how beautiful. She's a she's in her fifties, she's she's she looks like Hillary Clinton, she's got the Hillary Clinton hairdo. Right, she's she's standing in Congress. She's very, very but but eighty. Per, you listen to she's the senator of New York, right? And eighty percent of the, the the city and the state wants universal health care for all. Wants uh, single payer health care. Wants free college tuition at city state universities. They want to get people like this out of the game, right? But who is she catering to? Did she turn and look at the people? Right? What did the people want? What did the what did the people? The people that she's supposed to represent, what are they saying? No, she doesn't care about that. She, I voted for Joe because he's my friend. And I supported Joe because he's my friend. I was going to support him regardless of how great she is. And that's, that's, that's the whole summation. This is a, this is a, a false prophet. This is a, a <clears throat> treasonous person who takes on the role of senator. She wasn't, by the way, she wasn't elected. She was appointed. This Kristen Gillibrand is a sitting senator in New York who took the seat from Hillary Clinton. That's right. She, when, when Clinton decided to run for president again and again and again, it, it, Gillibrand took the seat. So let's, let's continue with uh, Ms. Gillibrand and the softball player, Andrew 
uh, Chris Cuomo, Andrew Cuomo, same guy, right? <laughs> fucking same guy. You know, it gets tricky. I know Crowley's your friend, but you believe in her positions, but you didn't endorse. And this is kind of what you're seeing within your party in yeah. figuring out who do you guys want to get behind. Now, we just need to clarify. First of all, Andrew, uh, Chris Cuomo is throwing her a softball question. He's saying you agree with Ocasio's uh, positions, but you didn't endorse. That's not true. Kirsten Gillibrand is a corporate Democrat. She believes in 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 universal coverage, which is code word for you're going to pay fucking health insurance, whether you like it or not. She recently tried to repackage student loans, uh, refuses to to acknowledge that the uh, debt forgiveness on student loans to expunge the debt that is crippling young people in this country. So they're not the same at all. Right. She doesn't she she's she just voted to, for the seven hundred billion dollar uh, 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 military spending bill. She she was instrumental in the in the TARP, giving TARP money in two thousand eight to the to the big banks. And she's a corporate Democrat. She take she's got eight million dollars in the bank, ready to run a Senate campaign against a schmuck Republican, and and win again. She's a money grabber, right? Any politician with eight million fucking dollars, right? how many millions does she have? Right, so let's continue with this idiot. If you had to do it again, would you have backed her? No, I mean, I backed Joe for a reason. We've worked together for a decade, and we worked really hard on a lot of legislation, including the 9-11 health bill. So he earned my vote. Um, but it doesn't mean that Alexandria is not going to come to Washington and make a difference. Uh, so I was going to support him regardless of how great she is. And I supported Joe because he's my friend. And I supported Joe because he's my friend. It's very revealing. I mean, it's it's softball at CNN. You know, I, I used to get angry when I would see stuff like this, but CNN is a subsidiary. They're 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 wholly owned by, you know, they're funded by the corporations that need people like Kristen Gillibrand to make you talk about ice, make you talk about um, personality, right? Kristen, oh, she's so nice, and I supported Joe because he's my friend, and Ocasio, oh, I she's she's going to make a difference, and. But they don't talk. There's no substance to anything that this woman is saying. Nothing. It's just it's she represents a, a corporatist view, a failed corporatist view in America uh, that supports, you know, Trump's Reaganomic idea, Reaganomics, where the money's going to trickle down and everybody's going to profit from the corporations. It, it doesn't it doesn't work. Right. It doesn't work. You got to get rid of these people. You got to get rid of Kirsten Gilbrand. So come November 6th, Miss. Kirsten Gilbrand is going to be the um, Democratic nominee uh, nominee because uh, she'll be the on the ballot and because nobody ran against her, none of the Democrats, even not a single fucking one of them, got up and 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 challenged her. I miss Progressive. Acasio said it in her email that 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 Gillibrand is a is a progressive. No, she's a fucking tool. She's a she's a tool, a nobody, right? She's in bed with the governor and the, and the fucking governor's brother. Probably all this going on. Right? Right. So anyway, so that's uh that's where I'll be there November second, November sixth. Um as a write in, right? Right. Look, I stand everything that's written in, in my little box, my stupid YouTube box down below. 80% cut military spending, 80%. Raise the corporate tax rate, 80%. You have to squeeze the corporations and, and, and you have to stop the bleeding out of the top where all of the wealth, the, the top one-tenth of one percent is burning. The, the top ten, the top one-tenth of one percent is taking all the money. <laughs> it's so true, right? So you have to, you have to clog up that clog up that hole you stay with people like this it's just a sinking ship right it's a sinking ship and it's so obvious right it's so obvious because they don't have a chance of beating trump in 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 uh 2020 trump is the, trump's gonna run all the way to 2024 he's gonna he's gonna die in office and then he's gonna or he's gonna just he's gonna run it out and then he's gonna try to get his his daughter daughter elected ivanka right he's gonna support ivanka Ivanka Trump, and she'll probably win because she's 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 cult she's being cultivated right now for the win. So, anyway, 
My name is Marcus Conti. I'm an investigative journalist here on, on uh, YouTube, investigative reporter, opinion reporter, I guess, really. You know, it's my opinion. <laughs> uh, and uh, <clears throat> independent candidate for the United States Senate here in New York come November 6th. Peace. I know Crowley's your friend. I know Crowley's your friend. And I supported Joe because he's my friend. Uh, so I was going to support him regardless of how great she is.